This is Silver Oak 2006 Cabernet Sauvignon Alexander Valley. Now, I've opened this up just to give it a little extra breathing time. Um, this is one of the two cabs that Silver Oak makes, uh, Alexander Valley and Napa Valley. Um, and of course, when the winery started back in the 70s, they wanted to make only Cabernet, and those were the two <laughs> best places for producing Cabernet. So, they actually source the grapes from several different vineyards in the Alexander Valley. They ferment all the lots separately. And then they aged all the wine in um, barrels that were half new and half one year old, one time used. So, uh, a lot of new oak in this wine. But generally, the fruit is so intense it stands up to it beautifully. They actually age it for 25 months in the barrel, so over two years in barrel. And then what Silver Oak does, which is very different than what most wineries do, is they age it in the bottle then again for an additional 15 months. So that's why the 06 is the current vintage, whereas all the wines you're seeing 07s, even 08s now, um, because they take that extra time to lay the wine down and let it bottle age, let those flavors come together and harmonize, and let this tan and soften so you have something that's really wonderfully forward and ready to drink, right? Oh, this beautiful cab nose, all that cassis. Mm. And some nice hints of uh, brown spice. This be from that oak. Uh, a little bit of dark chocolate on there, too. Mm, just got a nice, nice sort of plums. And it's got a really, really pretty, definite cab nose. Let's taste. It's pretty lush on the palate. Um, you get all of that cassis, and then you get a lot of dark chocolate, and then you get um, this sense that there's a, a real sort of core to this wine. Um, I'm glad I gave it a little extra breathing time because it sort of opened it up. The tannins are not hard, but they're, they're, sort, of, they're sort of tight. They're sort of holding things in place. And... Um, I'm getting nice fruit flavors that are coming through. I'm getting that, those chocolate notes, some of those nice uh, dustings of brown spice still coming through. But it's giving me a sense that there's more to come. <laughs> there's kind of a, a brooding quality to it. Um, really nice stuff. Uh, I'm going to have to come back to it in a little while, see where, how it aerates. But definitely a wine you'd probably want to enjoy a bottle or two now and lay some down for... Uh, for a few years, see what they're gonna do. Enjoy.